What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Raw channel and again we've got something completely different. Uh, you might have seen before we had a little chat about FIFA and uh, Raw's attempts to enter the world of football and this time we're going to be doing it with National Hockey League and uh, I'm joined here by Yotea who is the uh, the captain of the new Raw NHL team. How are you doing? Yeah I'm all good mate, I'm all good. Uh, so this is a uh, an area of sport that I'm not really too uh, accustomed to, so I'm hoping that you can uh, teach me a little couple of things <laughs> um, just with the chat. But just very quickly, um, just so anyone who's watching, um, just to kind of give a bit of information about yourself, kind of how you started um, into video games and NHL in general, kind of how long you've been playing, um, just some basics really about yourself. Well, I have been playing all my all my life and since I was a little boy with... Uh consoles and things which really doesn't exist anymore almost but yeah my first nhl was 94 which i play but that really can't be compared to nowadays game but uh, i think 90 97 i spent uh, with my relative i spent for 14 hours straight to playing nhl 97 with him in co-op <laughs> sitting ne ne next to next and uh, yeah i i have been always love hockey and 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 dreaming to be a great hockey player but i never never learned how to skate so i i play floor floorball but it's really not the same anyway uh i try <coughs> the six versus six game mode came in the 2009 i think in in, in nhl series and i started played uh regularly and series in 2010 i think and it was a uh, love in the first sight i i want to get better and better and I, I want to win and we have a i i have been always be blessed with the great guys around me and great teammates and and yeah that's awesome. how it started yeah so with um with other ea games like fifa the game t tends to change quite a bit from year to year not drastically amount um drastic amounts but um it can tend to alter there's like small parts of gameplay that they update or change is that the same with with nhl does it tend to be quite different from year to year you find or does it tend to be quite similar or yeah the game gameplay change every year mm, somewhere and it it, it it will be a little bit different that you need you need to learn the mechanics and how to how to make make best of the that that year's play play styles and how, how the game works you, you need to learn it every year a little bit over and over again but uh, it really looked the same way game in many many years and there was a lot of lot of uh, things but I, I i didn't really care about like how you can change your players hair or or, or something it's it's really, <laughs> really not relative how, how you play and make goals in the eyes but yeah Anyway, um, maybe this year's NHL is, I don't know if it's the best, but one of the best versions ever they have been making in these past 10 years, over 10 years, whatever. It's a, it's a really good, but otherwise, like animations and a lot of other things in this this version is broken but the actual game and game game playing is really good yeah would you say uh that you guys have um i know it's not been out um too long but would you say that you have a particular style of play based on the gameplay this year they're like a, a style of nhl that you like to try and implement when you guys play i i have always trying and enjoying playing with the quick passing games when you can uh, uh, make shady moves and a little bit uh, distract opponent and make something that nobody accepts and 
I, I, I like how it makes this version, the passing and the passing game is really much harder than before. It's, it requires more, more skill to make those no look passes or more, more difficult playing. And I, I, I really enjoy it. And, and we, we, we try to all, also be disciplined in the e zone and attack and defense with all five five guys on the on the ice. So as a team, we we try to be one well, one unit. Yeah, would you say like communication as well is quite important when you guys play? Like yeah, yeah, of course, of course we but. When you when you are in especially when you are in the actual ECL game and you have that full focus, you have uh, forget all around you and you're just trying to focus that game and what you do there. There, I think there is then there is no point really talk that much. You can a little bit if you are losing, you try to easing the at atmosphere in the, in the party and make try to try to be positive and and uh, but there is not really that much talking when when the ECL is going on but otherwise yeah there is maybe a lot of a lot, lot of party noises then yeah and with you guys entering um the European Championship League um, obviously, you're currently doing your warm-up games at the moment, where you've played 12, 1, 10, um, and just lost two at the moment. Are you feeling like the team's coming together well, and you'll be ready for the for the season coming up? We are trying our best to be better every week, every day. But of course, it's a long way to the top. And uh, yeah, we we are putting a lot of hours, and we are really trying to practice and be be better better as a team and in the videos also of course is it um is it kind of a a competitive esport where you keep like similar teammates and friends from game to game or is this because as the captain i assume you're quite responsible for uh recruiting players into the team uh the guys that you're playing with currently at the moment are they all new or have you got players that you've played with for quite a considerable amount of time or teams along the years but i have known him very long and then our goalie goalie used by have been playing with him um, before also i i know him a little bit not that well than than neonhom of course but the other guys they are all all new for me and they are great persons and great players and it's it's always pleasure to meet new new, new guys new players with skill and Get know to them and try to make the team go well. Yeah, how how is it you come across um, players? Is it um, through other tournaments that you like take in and you kind of you notice them as good players, or do you know them through friends, or how do you normally come across when you when you meet them? Is it usually on on the other team if they play well, or? Well, there there is a, with the NHL gamer net site there is a uh post where you m make a post when you are a free agent or you are looking team or as a team you can make a post where you are looking for players and but uh, most of most of the recruiting is is um, happening with uh, with that you know the guy who know the guy and yeah you know the guy who can be yeah oh okay and so with the team that you've currently got at the moment, do you have um, any expectations going into the league? Is there a particular position that you'd want as a minimum with the talent that you've got on the team with you guys? Well, I really don't. If I'm honest, I don't know how it, how it goes nowadays. Because there is a nowadays there is a wait a second there is a four or five different divisions, and I have been playing this far only in pro and elite uh, divisions and now with this new team i don't know where they put us i think we go maybe in lite or core 
maybe if we make very well in this warmer tournament, we can get straight to the light light division and they don't make us to play in Korea, but I really don't know. Okay, but so we 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 aim high. My my only point is to first get back to the pro division and get get nice games and there and develop more as a team and make make us back to the pro playoff teams which I have been like almost always. Yeah, and so when when you guys when you guys do play, do they uh, is it like a dedicated stream, like to have the games casted, or do you guys stream it like individually as you play, or is it a bit of both? Or well, well, we we stream stream games, um, and the, we also tape tape the games. So if there is something that we can, we want to watch and go through backwards we can watch the watch the game and discuss for it that what went wrong and what didn't went wrong yeah and, and try to improve our game so how how long would you say uh say like monday to friday how long do you how long do you guys put into the game roughly per week well, would you say in hours uh, well um, it depends but uh we play like two three or six times per week it yeah. depends and uh, it's like two it, it can be two hours or it can be four or five hours sometimes <laughs> but yeah we are we are putting a lot of effort and hours for that game well thank you very much for your time mate i wish um you all the best for the for the upcoming season i'm sure uh anyone else all the uh, loyal ross supporters will be will be doing so the same so yeah thank you very much for your time mate and wish you all the best going forward into that uh, that ECL league yeah we try our best thank you